Look at you. Look at you, beautiful cats. Sexy. One of the great things about this job is we get to, to work to lots of different people in lots of different places, travel around the country, travel around the world, my friends. And uh, sometimes we, uh, we do gigs in war zones for the troops. And that's pretty cool. I like doing that. I very much enjoy doing that. Primarily because I'm very pro-war. You know? I love war. And I think there should be more of it. <laughs> no, that's not, uh, I'm not pro-war. I don't know that anyone is. I know, I'm not sure, I haven't checked. But I, I do those gigs because I love the troops. Soldiers are fascinating people. They really are. They're amazing people. They're co men and women, complex, brave, uh, skilled, and no doubt conflicted people. Uh, and also a very easy comedy audience in a war zone. Because uh, their day is pretty much okay. 0800, we get up. Uh, there's some insurgents on Sniper Hill. We go up there, it's a capture or kill mission, emphasis on kill. If you get through that on the way back, try not to step on any landmines or IEDs or drive over any. When we get back to base, it's uh, a bit of a debrief and then a couple of hours interrogation of the prisoners. Then we get a comedy night. <laughs> so uh, enjoy that if you make it. Um, so uh, I, I've done, uh, did a tour of uh, East Timor, that was fascinating. And uh, very recently, I came back from Syria did two gigs in Syria. I didn't even know that we had troops in Syria. And to this day, I'm not sure that I'm meant to tell you that we do. <laughs> but we fucking do. <laughs> they were great, great gigs. Uh, working to Australian, New Zealand, Canadian and Syrian troops, men and women, awesome people. And then a lot of Syrian punters, you know, just people. And uh, that was great, did two gigs. And then the day before I flew back, got to go to a market and have a look around a market, you know? Like, and it's like, you know, your classic kind of Arabic country market, you know, like pretty, pretty cool, checking out stuff. But I noticed there's this like very modern bit. There's like a, like a, a coffee place, but it was very red and kind of, it was like a Chibo or like a Gloria Jeans in, in, this, in this kind of rustic market. And I, I noticed it, and I noticed there was five young people sitting out the front, Syrian people, uh, you know, seemingly to me, and in, um, in you know, Western kind of clothes, and they were, they were, checking, they were checking me out. They were looking at me and they were, they were talking about me. And I'm thinking, what the fuck? They're giving the fleet man the stink eye. And it wasn't cool. But I thought, I want to know what they're saying. And being a comic, I had my phone on me. I put it on record, because we often record gigs. Flicked it on to record. And then suddenly, I'm like the shittest James Bond ever. I'm just wandering around the market trying to get close to them to record what they're saying. And I'm going, oh, this is, these tables are incredible. I wouldn't mind one of those for the family back home. And oh, these I Heart Syria t-shirts look good. And I'm like, just getting closer and closer. And then, so I record stuff. I get back to, to Australia, get back to Melbourne. Uh, a couple of days later, I go see uh, a friend of mine, a woman who's a linguist, right? She's a linguistics professor at Melbourne Uni. In fact, she used to be my girlfriend, right? I go and see her put it on the table, she turns it on, I'm going, what are they saying, what are they saying, you know, what, I want to know, and she goes, uh, they're, they're, they're five young people, it's like uh, three men, two women, five young people, they're in a market, and I went, I know they're in a fucking market, I was there, she went, whoa, I went, I'm sorry, I haven't dealt with the breakup at all, <laughs> anyway, whatever, so she's, I go, what are they saying, and she goes, they're saying, you know, they, and she goes, I go, what are they talking, and she goes, she suddenly goes, they're comedians, and I went, what? She went, they're comedians. They're five young Syrian comedians. And I was suddenly like, oh my God. It suddenly made sense to me. It's almost like that kind of subversive racism in me. I've heard them speaking Arabic and I assume they're angry. I assume they're saying bad things about me, but not at all. I suddenly go, oh my God, they would have been at the gig last night or the night before. They've seen me busting out the flea gold and they're like talking me up. They're like, oh yeah, he's pretty great. He's a great comic, and I'm like, oh my God, the international sisterhood and brotherhood of comics, this is amazing. And I went, so what are they, what are they saying about me in particular? And she went, they're saying, they come round here taking our jobs. <laughs> but like, you've been wonderful, I'm very clear. Thank you very much, take care, enjoy the festival. Thanks. Great cleaner.